Hey everyone, welcome to React course. In this lecture, we will understand how to create a stateless functional component. In the previous lecture, we had learned how to create a stateful component with a class. There is another way to create a component in React using a function. Yes, you heard it right. Using a function, you can create stateless functional component. But why I am using stateless word before the functional component? The reason behind that you can't declare a state attribute to this component if you create this component using a function. You can use class component if you are going to use state, but if you are not using state then the functional component is very easy to create and understand. Well, you can use properties also in the functional component if you need. Functional component is more readable and understandable than the class component. Stateless functional component is just a pure JavaScript function. When you create a functional component, you don't need to create a class and don't need to specify this reference to any object. Stateless functional components are useful for presentational components. Presentational components focus on the UI rather than behavior. So it's important to avoid using state in presentational components. So in simple words, functional components is focus on the UI. One of my students asked me why we need to use functions. The reason behind that is you can use functions anywhere and you can use the same code more than once. This example will definitely help you to understand the use of function and understand how to create a stateless functional component. So in component directory, I will just create another component file. So I will just right click here and say new file and just specify a name to this file. So I will just say functional component dot jsx right and just enter so this will create a new file and uh, in this file you just need to import only a react module you don't need to import a component class because we are not extending or we are not creating any class here so you just need to import a react module here so i will just say imr and enter right so this will import the react module just after that here i will just create a function so I will just create a pure ECMAScript 6 function here. So I will just say constant box is equal to and just specify parenthesis, call my arrow and the body of this function, right? So this is the pure ES6 function. Now when you create this function, just after that, I just wanted to export this function because I wanted to use this function in other files. So I will just say export default and specify this function name so i will just say box here right so you can use this function outside of this file so this function will take a parameter which is properties so i will just say properties here oops right and this function will return jsx elements so i will just say here return right to return multiple statements i will just say parenthesis semicolon now here you can return multiple statement so i will just create div element here so i will just say div and specify a class name so i will just say class name is equal to here i will just call bootstrap classes so i will just call here dflex flex row so this class will create every child element on the single row right and here i will just say spawn and just say here element one right save my changes and just go to index.js file and here we just first need to import this box function so i will just say import box from now here you just need to specify where you want you to import this function so i will just say dot forward slash component forward slash and specify this function com file here right so here in this file i have my box function specify semicolon and just remove this app component and say box here right save my changes and start my development server so i will just say control tilde i already started my development server so i will just open my browser so i will just close this window 
So you will get element one on the document. So this will create a simple element for us. So here you will see you don't need to create a class or you don't need to create this reference and anything. So here you can create properties as well. So to create a property, you can just say here curly braces and just say this dot properties. Wait, you don't need to use this keyword in the function, right? So just delete this keyword from here and just say here properties dot me. So this is my property. I just need to initialize this property. So I will just go to index file and just say here me is equal to props and save the changes. When you execute this, you will get your property on the document, right? As I said, you don't need to use this keyword to these properties, right? Now, I will just remove this property and specify one here. Now, what if I wanted to create this element multiple times? Let's say if I wanted to create this element three times. So I will just copy this element, paste it here and paste it here. So this will create the same span element three times. But this is not the way the smart developer work. Because here we are using the same code again and again. To smartly create the span tag, I will just show you how you can do that. So I will just remove this span tag from here and just create a function here. So what I will do is I will just say here let element is equal to create ES6 function and in this function I will just create a division tag but before I create a division tag you need to specify a return keyword so I will just say return and just in the parenthesis you can specify your JSX code so I will just say div here and in this div you can wrap this span tag I will just cut this span tag and paste it here just after that i just want to specify some classes so i will just say class name is equal to i wanted to specify a border to this font tag as well as padding 3 margin 2 and the background color is going to be light and now i just want to change this one value and specify this value from the parameter so i will just say value here you can remove this parenthesis because we are specifying only one argument and just specify this argument here All right just after that i just wanted to call this function here All right so i will just wrap this function in the spawn tag and just call this function so i will just say curly braces here and say element and in the parenthesis i just need to specify the element number so i will just specify this argument in this parenthesis i will just say one here just after that i will add some padding to this division tag so i will just say padding four here save the changes and here you will see your first element so as i said using the function you can call the same code multiple times, more than once. So I will just call this function multiple times. So the use of this function is to just create a UI of the span tag, right? So you can use this function to create a span tag multiple times. So if I wanted to create this span tag, just after this span tag, I can say here span and just call this function again. So I will just say element and specify parenthesis so i will just say two here i will just copy the statement paste it here and just specify three here save the changes and you will get your three elements on the document right now i hope you understand the benefit of using functions i hope you understand how to create a stateless functional component if you have any question you can ask me in the command answering the question specified in the command will definitely help you to improve your knowledge that is all for now. We will see you in the next lecture.